What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from Live Hotel and Casino. This is episode 54 of my vlog. In this episode, we're in the $100,000 guarantee tournament. It's gonna be a good one. There's already been nine or 10 flights to go already over the last three or four days. We're in the last day of flights, we're taking the 1115 flight. Hopefully we can uh, run our $20,000 starting stack up to at least 150 to 200,000 which looks to be the minimum to make day two. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right, everybody, it's Saturday morning, heading down to Live Casino for their 100K guarantee. I think I'm meeting up with uh, Andrew. He's gonna wind up playing in the tournament. This is a pretty big uh, deal for Live. It's a really good value. Uh, it's like 10 or 11 flights worth. We'll be entering the second to last flight if we make it through day one, we're in the money. Day two is tomorrow at 12.15, right back there at Live Casino. Ready to play this tournament? Yeah, man, let's do it. Trump t-shirt, ready to go. <laughs> Trump t-shirt, felt life, way to go, felt life. We gotta, we gotta get rid of the triumph. We got the old school 410 poker. That's true. We got the old school. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob. The first ever guy to walk up to me and says he watches my vlogs. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. All right, first break, 15 minute break. I got about 48,000 in chips. Had a couple good hands, nothing of uh, major noteworthiness this time. You'll see it on the vlog. Going back to levels of what? 800, 800, 400, 800, 800, 400, 800 big blind Annie. Let's see if we can run this up another 48,000, get over a little 100,000 before the next break. All right, break number two. We have chipped up. Unfortunately, this guy here busted out. Busted out. Busted out king nine, king uh, six. King six, river king six. flush against me. Too terrible luck. He was card dead all day. I, however, have not been card dead. I've been getting ace, king, ace, queen, left and right, kings. I have built my stack up to 121-ish thousand. Average chip stack is 56. I will put the video of the results and how many people are in and all that jazz, the time clock like up here or like over here, wherever I can figure out how to put it. So we're gonna go back now and uh, hopefully we'll run this damn chip stack up even more. We're going for day two. See you guys soon.
Okay, in my first or second hand after the bubble, money bubble that is, I have the Queen of Diamonds, the Queen of Clubs in middle position. The small blind raises up to 22,000. I decide just a flat call. We are three ways to the flop, I believe, and the flop is the Ten of Hearts, the Queen of Spades, and the Six of Diamonds. And it checks around to the turn. And the turn is the king of hearts. The small blind bets 23,000, uh, I believe. I basically call right away after the dealer counts it out. And obviously we are still heads up to the river. And, and the river is the ten of diamonds, giving me the full house now at this point. So, I decide to go ahead and bet 25000 and he basically looks at his cards and folds right away, and we take down that pot. Alright, heading back after the third break. We're in the money. Minimum cash right now is 160 then jumps to 200 and then 240 I got about 220,000 at the moment. Average chip stack is like 170, 180, so I'm doing pretty good. Okay, in the next level, uh, blinds are now 6,000, 12,000 with a 12,000 big blind ante. I have the Ace of Clubs, Queen of Hearts under the gun. I make it 35,000, everybody else folds, and the only person who calls is the big blind. We are heads up to the flop at this point. The flop is the queen of diamonds, the jack of hearts, and the nine of hearts. It checks all the way around to the turn, which is the three of diamonds. It checks to me, and... I decide to pull off a bet of 45,000. The big blind doesn't quite snap call, but he calls pretty quick. And the river is the four of diamonds. It checks down to showdown. And we lose this pot to uh, three threes against my pair of queens. And we lose a decent sized pot there. Okay, break number four. I just had ace jack three times in a row and folded it. We got one more to the bag. I was out of position all three times, so I decided just to fold them. I'm one of these short stacks out of the two tables left. I got about uh, 300,000. Average chip stack is about 320. Let's see if we can go and run this thing up and get a bag. All right, ooh, what a day. Eight and a half hours later, I bagged just over 200,000 chips. I think it's like 206. My first ever bag in a tournament on to day two. I think once they add up all the chips, I'll probably be uh, middle slash lower end of the pack. But we're in it. Hashtag LFG. Let's run this stack up tomorrow. 
and make the final table. All right, we're here day two. Got my buddy Chris here. That blue S3 on Instagram and YouTube, look them up. Day two, heading over to the poker room. Got to check in for the uh, 100K guarantee final day here. Let's hope we can run this 206K stack up. Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, the very first hand of day two, I have the jack of hearts, the jack of clubs in middle position. The blinds went back to 5K, 10K with the 10K big blind ante. It folds around to me. I make it 20K, accidentally put 40K out there. We go three ways to the flop, and the flop comes out the four of diamonds, the queen of hearts, and the five of clubs. It checks around to the small blind who bets 30,000. There is one fold, and it gets to me. I call the 30,000, and the turn is the six of spades. So there's a straight draw out there now. I decide to check. The small blind bets 60,000. And I count my chips and I have about eh, 180, 160,000 behind me. So I decide to call the 60,000. The river, you guessed it, is the seven of spades. I decide to bet 60 to see if he possibly has the straight draw. He basically snap calls and flips over two sevens. So his three sevens beat my pair of jacks and we lose most of our stack. I had to post the big blind losing more chips. The hand after that, I had an ace, basically got into a flip and lost to a pair of aces and we are out of the tournament. Wow, that was quick. Day two did not last very long out in 110th place for min cash. Uh, what are you gonna do? It's, uh, I had I opened with jacks, queen on the flop with a straight draw on top of it. The guy bet into me. I called for like 30,000. The turn was I think a five to help the straight draw out even more. I went ahead and bet 60. He then calls. And then on the river, it's a seven. He bets 60, I call, and uh, we flip over. I got jacks versus a set of sevens. He rivered a set of sevens. What are you gonna do? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Maybe comment down below. And remember, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.